Hello everyone! You're going to be watching me paint these tulips and bee. Bees? There's more than one. We'll find out soon, won't we? On this little 6x6 canvas. It's all in acrylic. And by the time I record this, this little painting has found its home already. I hope the owners of my little bee and tulip find this video because I forgot to put it up. I'm sorry. I, I knew I recorded it and didn't realize I didn't put the video up. So here it is. Hope you find it. Hope you enjoy your little painting. Take care of it. Uh, so yeah, here it is. And you can watch it being painted. I love the idea that you can watch the paintings you get be created, whether it's in real time and you watch the whole hour long thing or it's all sped up. So you have something you can share. Oh, please do share. It helps. And it's hopefully a really unique thing for whatever painting you might purchase. So there's that. And then while it's being played in the background, this little time-lapse version, I want to talk a little bit about the inspiration for it. Inspiration in general and artists just making bread and butter type of artworks to sell. Yes, absolutely to sell. And I feel like there should be no shame in making things specifically to sell. It's like, we're professionals, we got bills to pay. Of course we're not going to abandon our, our pet projects and our desires. And if you have something to say to the world, don't, don't compromise on what you're trying to say. But we don't have to give up on the bill paying stuff either, like my totes. I can absolutely get bored out of my mind of painting my totes because there are a few good designs people love. And I love that they love those designs. Horrible, horrible puns. My root totes, like it's a picture of kind of watercolor and ink root vegetables saying support your roots, shop locally. I've sold lots of those. Do I get tired of painting batches and batches because they're all unique and individually painted? Yes, of course. But I would rather do that than print them off right now, they're getting original art. So it's kind of a paradox of sticking to my guns of, yes, I want you to have original art and I'm going to be a little bit bored while I do it. That's okay. I can take a break. I can make more later. I can choose not to make any more. But it's also a good bread and butter thing and I believe in getting original art into people's hands and this is a practical way of doing it. Now for these little bees, bee, bees, and tulips, two inspirations, two or three inspirations come to mind when I made this. The biggest one at the time was Tulip Time Festival in Holland, Michigan. I was part of the virtual, virtual show for that this year. I'm not sure I'd choose to do too many virtual shows like that but uh that's a that's a story for a different time so tulips were huge and i got a teensy bit burnt out making so many tulips not this one i love this little guy this one was fun i was playing around with different concepts and of course i'm a very impressionistic painter so i had fun with those big blocky shapes and just really trying to put my twist on tulips which are a deceptively simple shape. They're so egg-shaped and yet there's so many subtleties inside the tulip shape anyway. So tulip time and the whole tulip theme, absolutely I was catering to that theme and trying to make a big old tulip shop, some of which are still on my website. Like, why do I have to take them down? Here, here's tulip themes. Here you go. Have fun. You like tulips? Go at it. The other inspiration for bees, I mean, I live in Michigan. Lots of agriculture and apples and fruits and vegetables, it's part of the fruit belt over here, right? And so you usually have a lot of beehives as well. Sturgis, I believe, is on the map for a lot of modern beekeeping techniques. So I have a shop in Sturgis currently that sells some of my totes or buys them from me. And the bees are popular. I support the bees too. It's not just about bread and butter. Hey, people like bees, I'll paint bees. Bees are cute. I believe in what they do. They help pollinate things and food I like. I mean, honey is awesome. You might know, and I wish I had something to back it up, like something to point to, that local honey can help with allergies from that area. I mean, it's made from the pollen you're sneezing about. So it can actually help build your immunity to with the pollen in that area. So places I go a lot, I try to get honey. And I don't know if it's helped that much with this season's blooms, Quite honestly, I like to believe it helps, and honestly, honey is good for you anyway. So 
I love it. I love going to lavender fields where the bees are happy and you can just stand still, smell the lavender and hear the buzz of these little bees. They don't want to have anything to do with you. You're fine unless you don't, you know, don't poke them or really swat them hard. Then they don't want to have anything to do with you. They want the lavender. They're happy little campers just trying to get the lavender. So I have no fear of walking around in the lavender thinking I'm going to get stung. And I love hearing that gentle hum of the bees and the lavender. It's just a precious little thing. So bees and tulips, I feel like tulip paintings are really pretty if it's only plants in the picture. And I've sold other paintings. I should say, I haven't sold. I shouldn't say that. I should say that other people have also fallen in love with paintings of just tulips. Other people have invested and loved little paintings of just flowers, just landscapes. And they've also liked that. I feel like there's something to catch your eye when you put something in the painting that is full of life, like an animal of some sort or something catch that's different, something that's alive. Like there's a landscape and a couple cows. You gravitate towards those cows for some reason because th there's something extra about putting something in there with a bit of life. A bug, a bee. Tulips are awesome. It could be the subject of tulips, but once you add that bee, there's a whole other dimension to it or the, just stuff like that. I had a picture of birches that I added a teeny tiny little deer to. And so I was very consciously putting that tiny bit of life into the tulips and it was adorable. The third inspiration was a lot of artists on Etsy. Not only are they making other gift size arts like I have been, these six by sixes around that size. I've been doing that for years, just like them. I'm impressionistic and a lot of them are as well, at least the ones I've been following because I'm inspired by them. And I love seeing, you're hearing my chair creak all over the place, I apologize. I love seeing the big bold brush marks. I love seeing how clear colors they get. And yeah, I'm trying to emulate some of that. It's like, how did they do it? We're using similar styles. That's okay, similar subjects. This is still all my style. I'm not trying to copy that, but learning how they're getting nice bright contrast and brushwork and it's just cute and adorable and other people seem to think so too because they're finding good homes and I love that because it helps me get original art in people's hands and yeah it totally pays my bills thank you guys I love that you're you're helping artists surprise give joy excuse me you're helping artists give joy to the world like this is bill pain, you know, there's other jobs you can support too, and we all do, and I'm grateful for that, but thank you all for investing in small artists, bigger artists, we're just trying to put joy out in the world, put out a good message, something, something joyful, something nice and happy. So thank you all for listening, I hope you find inspiration other places, I'd love to know how you find inspiration and from where and how you use it like this, or like what's your bread and butter? How do you prevent yourself from getting bored with that and putting what you believe into making those absolutely sellable little bits that help us continue? So, of course, yes, I'm going to say like and subscribe, absolutely, please do, this helps artists, it helps small makers on YouTube, all that kind of stuff, it doesn't have to be YouTube either, there's other places to go if you don't want to do that, but it helps a lot, and thank you so much everyone for watching, have a great afternoon, morning, or evening, thanks, bye.